Welcome to PFOL Tutorials and you are watching the video series of how to create a bookshelf management visual C++ Okay, and in the last video we saw how to create the you know change color uh, of the console window so in this function we are going to show you how to create the admin menu uh, before that I forgot to show you one thing that uh, so in this menu in this ma main menu we create up to five function but we forgot to define the exit function and the default uh, default case so if you know user enter if any uh, invalid uh, number so it should provide some uh, error message so for that we need to create the default and uh, exit function here I'm going to return if case 0 means if you say enter 0 it's going to return the system so I have given the function to system pause because uh, before it will exit it will give a, it will show on a screen to enter any screen and it's going to produce some uh, message about the time information which we already sh I show you in the demo because it will show the the usage time uh, how, how long we the duration we used so for that uh, we need to mm, show them show the message before exits for that uh, we use this command uh, in the next video i'm going to show in insert that uh, time things because if we go to at the end so it will uh, you know we need to keep changing all the codes and it's a big issue so it's better we create uh, the building first uh, sorry the basement first then we will go to the building so okay now going on to uh, define the case default okay so default case uh, if invalid entry please try again enter one two three four five or zero so this is the error message going to show if a user input any invalid number uh, rather other than the one two five or zero okay alright so now we have completed the main f uh, menu and we need to move into the ins uh, admin menu so this admin menu function I'm going to create the below main function so I need to call the prototype calling first so for that I'm going to give the prototype call okay here void admin options okay and void delete options because we're going to uh, create them as a different functions and we're going to call them inside the admin options or admin menu so it will be easy to and uh, navigate the menus so the navigation should be uh, you know accurate and proper and easy to uh, use easy for users so it will be the op application will become more user friendly so here I have given the delete option and search option function and void update options okay right uh, now we are going to create these functions below the main functions so follow me I'm going to go a little bit faster because we have a long way to go so don't think I'm too fast uh, in creating coding so because we have you know a lot of things to do so just follow me quickly ok so we will start to create the functions here ok uh, list of all admin functions available ok void admin options system post and system sealers ok see out welcome to the system administrators menu all right this is going to be the welcome message at the top and okay i'm going to give some uh, decoration for that yeah, the underline so you can give your own decoration then you start the coding okay add new books will be the first option display all books then search books and delete books and 
update books okay then i'm going to see out view special offers then view login report and the uh, help function okay and zero return return to main menu okay all right okay so here we have created the admin option so within the admin options here search books uh, delete books update books uh, are uh, separate functions so within those uh, search books there are going to be a few options there so search by name search by uh, category or search by book author or price or whatever we, we are going to show you uh, I already showed you so even uh, similarly delete books and update books also will take some uh, more of a, you know different functions inside this function so we are going to define what are the op function inside going to be uh, placed inside these options okay let's do that one now here the list of special of options sorry list of search option uh, search options we'll start system CLS and see out search books and okay just a modification okay search books by ID and search books by category okay and uh, search books bo book by name so we'll search by book name okay search by book name or search book by name or whatever uh, search by book author search by price and return back to admin menu so this is the search options going to be okay then let's define the list of update options okay update options okay, system will clear so it will refresh the screen and update bar books is the heading and small decoration for that and then start the function update sorry the function name search and update by book ID search and update by book category search and update by book name search and update by book author display list and update okay then back to admin menu yep okay next we are going to assign the list of delete options okay delete options void delete options okay system close and here delete books okay so search and delete books by ID search and delete by book category search and delete by book uh, name and again search and delete by book author Alright, then display list and delete. Okay, see out back to admin menu. Okay, the function is done. So we need to call this function inside the admin menu. So now we are going to create the admin menu. Okay, uh, admin menu contains all the calling functions of admin options. Okay, void admin menu. 
so we have defined some we have to declare some variables here search ops update ops delete ops and selection okay we are start to start the do uh, admin options so admin options uh, this function will call uh, this admin options here we have defined already earlier so we call that function here and we're going to start the input uh, method uh, which is you know I, I have showed you already please enter your selection so if that one fail uh, see how please enter a valid input so if any invalid input it will show this message so this will keep repeating for each input so I'm not going to explain everything I showed you already yes so this is the way to handle the exceptions okay and to start the switch selection okay case one break case two break so I'm not going to give any function for for now so if case three mean selection equal to three so we will define what will happen if selection equal to three so selection equal four if case four selection equal five so break 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 okay zero system will pause and return the application to back uh, back to main menu and the default function is invalid selection try again all right if selection is three do search option so this will call the search option which we created already the functions above so that will call that function and it will have some input for the search option search ops we have created that already over the variable okay please enter a valid input and end line okay again the switch for the search option will be case one break so this things going to be defined later on and default invalid selection try again okay All right if selection equal four it will call the delete option function already we created okay so the in dot fail and please enter a valid input okay it will go ahead like this okay then delete options also will have some uh, selection up to case 5 then default invalid selection try again okay delete option now is ready okay then the update option so the update option will have some options inside that so we are going to create the switch so, okay case 1 3 4 5 and 0 up to 0 then uh, default case so excuse me okay so we have created that fine so we need to end this function okay so this is the function uh, we have created already for the uh, that's a uh, menu navigations only we have just created so we'll see whether it's working properly or not so let's save this one okay as a main fix and uh, hold on a minute main fix okay i compiled already main fix 
let me increase the font size so you can view properly and okay i'm going to log in now admin one here admin one p1 is the password okay successfully logged into admin account and it's asking press any key to continue here yes this is the admin menu uh, so let's try whether it's search uh, books and delete updates working or not okay here search books working uh, enter zero to back okay then uh, uh, delete yes delete working then update yeah so all the menu navigations we have created properly so now we need to create the functions to assign to this menu uh, to navigate those functions so but before we keep going into these ad books and do those uh, things we are going to create a view login report at first because uh, it's a little bit complicated function and uh, if we are going to create at the end we need to you know keep deleting and editing so those coding so we will do that first uh, then we will move on to the uh, other functions so i'm going to show you in next video how to create the view login report so okay so join me i'll see you soon later bye take care guys bye bye